So the strat plan and trying to keep it real, always, keeping the real in real estate, that's my goal for this year. So, Mr. LaFrancis Arnold, where did you run off to? He's off the stage. He grabbed a drink. <laughs> this man keeps it real. He won't even remember because he deals with hundreds and thousands and thousands of us. But he is very instrumental, and this is real for having you here with me tonight. In May of 2009 was the first time that I went to Sacramento with the California Association of Realtors. I was an observer at that time, not a director, but invited simply to observe. I did, and more than observed, I was inspired. And this gentleman I met on the very first day by introduction of Wendy Formica. I had no idea who he was. I had no idea you were so fancy. <laughs> and that he had such a huge load and, and the meetings are overwhelming and his has to be ten times that. But you took the time on that very first day to spend time with me and encourage me to stay on this path and every time we passed in the hallways or we passed anywhere, you said, hey little first timer, how are you doing? You're hanging in there, you're still on your feet, you're still moving, that's a good sign. And at the Assemblyman uh, reception, I told you about how exciting my day was and that I had the opportunity to speak to Assemblyman Nistande and Perez. And I was on cloud nine. I was like, wow, I can't believe this. The, it, I love real estate. This is my life. But now there was this whole other door of look at what else we can do. And all of us put together, we can actually do something. In fact, and they had the most members of the California elected body that come to our to that reception that we gave to them. We had about either 64 or 66. How many was it? Do you remember? Was it? it was over 60. And there's only 120 something legislators, and we had over half of them at our reception. This is the power that you have, and this is why it's important for me to work with you, to touch you, and share that with you. And through your president, we'll get it done. But this is where your strength is, because those legislators know that the real we got twelve million dollars that we collected from you with your help, and we need voluntary money, and we give a lot of that money to NAR so they can keep you know, our federal legislation, so we can just go in there and talk to them about our issues. And, and that's what she's talking about. That's what she's learned. And we respect you for, and it is a challenge, but you're here tonight, and this is your presentation. So I, I applaud you, and I applaud you. Thank you. So he kept it real, and I too hope to pass it on, and you have to see him dance. We had the pleasure of being at his installation last Friday night. He can cut a rug. <laughs> Well, Thank I have you. a captain, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord Francis. Ooh, past leadership and the directors that I currently serve with, you inspire and ignite me. I'm so pleased to be working with the caliber of professionals that I am, and I can't wait to get this year started. So my other goal with the strap plan is just like I pointed out LaFrancis, if I have that opportunity this year to spark that in one other person, one other person that wants to get involved in leadership, either on a local, state, or national level, then I will feel that my job was done. If each of the board of directors can find one person that they do that, wow, we'll leave quite a legacy this year. So join me in that. So now the self-indulgent time. Just a minute. I just want to thank Michael and Heath, Vicki, Stephanie, and I don't know if Sam's here, KW Leadership, and Heath and Michael in particular. We've been working together since, I don't want to say, because it kind of makes us older, but <laughs> it, it's been more than a few years. And I thank you both for your leadership and support and always believing in me. Thank you for that. 
The CDR staff, I can truly say because I've been there as a member, I've been there as a committee member, I've been there on the board of directors, and now I'm there as president. They have treated me the same no matter how I walk through those doors. And we are blessed to have a staff like that working on our behalf. <laughs> Affiliates, there's a lot of you in here and without you doing an outstanding job, we wouldn't be able to do ours. So thank you, and thank you for coming out tonight in support of us. <laughs> My accountability partner, Dennis Bowman, who's been keeping me on the straight and the arrow for about a year and a half now. And as you go into 2012, if I can say, if you don't have an accountability partner, Make sure you get one. Just don't make it your spouse. <laughs> so our accountability works very well together. And not only did he start out as an accountability partner, but he's now one of my most special friends, confidants, and mentors. Thank you, Dennis. Is my baby brother here? Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> my baby brother, my unsuspecting first client. <laughs> we grew up in Canada. Woohoo! So you see there's no flags, because we, we actually, I think, have more Canadians in here tonight than, than Americans. <laughs> and so, you know, we didn't want you feeling bad. No, we're, we're so happy and blessed to be living in the States. But my baby brother, who was my first client, who until he was old enough to figure out he could do his own, I would build and sell him forts. <laughs> <laughs> that only lasted a year, and then he figured out that he could make them himself, so I needed to move along. My team, my team, where are you? We've got Bruce, Bruce 1, Bruce 2, otherwise known as Bruce Busher and Bruce Richardson, but we have fun calling them Bruce 1, Bruce 2 in the office. Catherine, Jeff, there's Catherine, Jeff, I don't see, I don't know if I saw Jeff tonight, Hector, Will, and we have two people that are just getting their license and coming in, Karen and Dana, and Doug and Cindy in the luxury department, and no Jillian, I did not forget about you. Better not. Jillian is our glue. Jillian is CDR to us. Jillian is our CDR to our team. So if I can just have my team throw their arms up in the air and I want to give them a big, pure adrenaline. <laughs> they inspire me on a daily basis. My dad. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Stephanie, I heard you go, uh-oh, you started. <laughs> my father, my mentor, my friend. I thank you for being up here today. For always inspiring me and making me believe that I can do absolutely anything that I put my heart to. Thank you for that. Thank you for allowing me to shadow you when I was a little kid now that I'm in the business. Oh my gosh, I'm sure I hurt you way more than I helped. <laughs> <laughs> but I really felt important bringing my hamster to your office on Saturdays and going through the MLS books <laughs> and making photocopies for all the Y pianers. We had to do them one at a time. There was no feeder. <laughs> and your commitment to organized real estate and professional real estate also serving as a director for the Edmonton Board of Realtors. I remember going to your installation and feeling so proud. And I hope you feel the same way today. Thank you. I'm really glad I wrote all these notes this afternoon, Fast and Furious, because I'm not even looking them. And last but not least, my love, Maurice. I want to thank you for coming into my life and bringing balance, because I've always been really good at work and not so good at enjoying the time off. I thank you for that, for making me laugh every day, 
for not only tolerating my work schedule, but actually encouraging me to move harder, stronger, think different ways. You always have my back, and I thank you for that. So on that note, I would... <laughs> like to ask all of you right now to raise a glass for a toast. It can be your water, it can be fake or it can be like mom. <laughs> Thank you again everyone for coming tonight on behalf of the 2012 Board of Directors. We look forward to serving you. We appreciate and thank you for the opportunity and wish you all a successful 2012. Cheers. I just, thank you. Stay right there. I just need you for one more minute, and then we'll have plenty of time to stand and enjoy and, and chat with each other. I would like to join, me, uh, to join up here. Wendy Formica. Wendy served as our treasurer in 2011. She comes in as president-elect. I want you to take this for being, I can stand right here, would you? This is the team. There is nothing more important than a president and a president-elect who not only respect each other, but who like each other and who work together. And I'm looking forward to this. Maureen Byrne, come up, please, our treasurer. Heather Rozier, our, our immediate past president. Let me tell you something. And we blessed to have four dazzlers and four great ladies. Put, put the four of you up with any association on the planet. I'm excited about this group for next year. And I'm just going to ask that that Heather, that you pass this gavel to, to our, our, our incoming president, Marnie, and we're going to grab, grab a couple of pictures here. What a great group and a great team. We have, when, when, when it's time to go home for you tonight at the back table, my staff has got